I wanna see the way right Church of God is coming I wanna see the broken Now, lead us, forth, lead us Forth is a really heavy band. Um, and this type of music can really draw a lot of energy out of the crowds. Mm. Um, do you feel your performance change when the crowd gives back to you? Or do you put on this sort of, do you try and put on the same show no matter what? I would like to say we, we, we try and put on the same show um, that we can. Obviously, uh, still early days, and I mean, you, there's so much that you can learn from your performances that you do. And so we'd like to continue to refine that. Um, but yeah, it does make it easier when people are getting into it. Yeah. Uh, when people actually know your your songs. Yeah. Um, um, being able to like is that something something I really like about the heavy music scene is like you know like often uh, unless you're playing big festivals or whatever like there's often not much distance between you and the crowd yeah. and so being able to have mic grabs and stuff like that is yeah. really cool yeah, yeah, and yeah. so i mean having w when people know your songs and you can like lend the mic out sing a chorus with a couple of people yeah, yeah, yeah. that's really fun and that definitely adds something to the music um but i mean i'd like to say we we try and give it heaps um and i mean we've played shows to a decent amount of people and shows to next to no one we yeah. played shows to pretty much just other bands yeah um and i mean We'll give it our best regardless. Yeah. And uh, I like to think we do. Yeah. That's <laughs> up for debate via YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Lead Us Forth has played Parachute in the past and recently played at Festival One. Mm. Um, how is it playing those festivals compared to sort of your standard shows? Mm, mm. Yeah, like uh, both times we played on yeah, though both those shows were probably the biggest stages that we've played on. Yeah. Um, and so, I mean, with that comes like a bigger speaker racks and like bigger sound system and more often than not, more lights. Yeah. And so, I mean, that can really add to the performance and that can like help spur you on and stuff. Um, but both of them were really fun. Um, what was the other part of the question? Compared to sort of the most standard yeah, shows, yeah yeah coming back to that last but i guess that last question um you know both both times we play, when we played parachute and festival one um we had a good good enough turnout it was awesome yeah we were blessed by that um but it is like you're up on the stage and then there's yeah. like the security friends fence and then it's the crowd yeah and so it kind of there is that space that between yeah that space between you and the the crowd you know you can't rush in or go right up to people lend them the mic if they want yeah. to go bah! you yeah, know yeah. And stuff like that so in that case it was really it was a lot different yeah but still fun yeah still a great experience yeah yeah because how was the whole vibe around like a parachute or a festival one? Oh man really good eh? Yeah. um uh especially like the difference um, between the two is the festival one was a lot smaller okay. um, and a little bit, yeah, a little bit smaller and, uh, but it enabled them like that their slogan was community music and art. So throughout, it just felt more communal. Okay. Um, uh, there was, there was places for people to just get stuck into various kinds of art and craft, just certain aspects of the way they designed the vibe of the festival was quite arty yeah. um, uh, and they had a community barbecue like they got donated like I think two tons of meat <laughs> dude it was awesome man. like <laughs> and and then they just invited people to come and hang out one evening and it was actually right when we finished our set yeah. so we were thankful to have people um, and watch us and then they rushed off to get meat. Yeah. I actually still managed to get some, which was cool. Yeah. And just like having this kind of like, like this massive dining experience, yeah. I guess. And just I think everybody, yeah. and like my wife and I were staying just outside of the festival. Um, 
and but I'm pretty sure one morning they actually had like a free breakfast as well. So just things like yeah, that, yeah. that cultivated community. My wife and I sat down at a table one afternoon with complete strangers and like I ended up having this like massive, massive deep conversation <laughs> with people about spirituality and music yeah. and like various opinions on that and we ch are just being able to challenge their preconceived mm -hmm. ideas and Oh, it was just great. We had yeah, a good yeah. laugh, good time, and I've never met these people in my life. And <laughs> and, and, and there were there, there's a number of stories like that that have yeah. come out of it. So that was a real cool um, thing as well. So yeah, that's yeah, wicked. Yeah, man, they gone that extra mile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah it was it was fun. It was really fun. Yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing where Festival One actually goes. Yeah. Um, so you guys have got a show coming up on yes, Friday the 13th. We do. Give us a bit of a rundown of the show. Yeah, so um, we're playing with uh, some other bands. Some other bands. <laughs> um, and, I, and most of them I've never played with a show before. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. also stoked our, my, our friends in Be My Anchor are going to be there. Um, uh, they're one of their guitarists actually used to be and lead us forth. Her name oh. is April. Oh. Um, she's amazing, amazing guitarist. And so we're really stoked um, to be able to play a sh another show with them. We played um, with them at Festival One. Oh, cool. Um, and um, on Saturday, yeah. Saturday night. So that was that was fantastic. And just really excited that its its whole focus is around fundraising. For charity, yeah, um, and I think that's such a that's such a great thing. Um, so uh, it's what five dollars, five dollars, four dollars. I should do my homework. Sorry. I think it's four dollars from every ticket. Yeah, four dollars for every ticket, um, and the tickets are twenty bucks. So I mean, YouTube, get along to the show, man. <laughs> Support it. So it's I'm really excited, and I, I like playing shows with bands that I've never seen before. Um, get to meet new people and yeah. see new music. See yeah, what the yeah. local scene has, so real stuck day. Yeah. And I think, and I'm pretty sure there's gonna be quite a diverse there's diversity in, 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 in sound, which are my favorite gigs. Oh, yeah. Honestly, when like gigs have like different bands from different styles of music playing, those are always my favorite. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, unless so. you really get into each one, you don't feel like you're like, Oof. I don't feel like something heavy right now. Or yeah, anything. yeah. And also it's like, um, sometimes gigs, you know, there's uh, several bands on the bill and uh, having a bit of variety is like, you know, keeps things fresh Yeah. as well. Um, so yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, the guy, Seb, Seb, his name yeah. is, um, he's just a legend, man. Mm. Just putting on something like this. Really going hard for it. Yeah, right? yeah. So I hope people really turn out for it because mm. it's a, definitely worthwhile yeah um, sweet so what do you guys do before a show mm. to get in the zone okay so for me as a vocalist um, obviously I try and do some warm-ups because I'm singing and screaming and I'm utilizing different styles um, to achieve those two things um, I really try to warm up yeah um, Oh man, I must look like such an idiot though. When like you're I'm just <laughs> doing that and la 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 la. It's, like, it's a bit crazy. Like if people walk past, they must be like, "What is he on?" <laughs> um, uh, but uh, so that's that's for me. The guys often get out their instruments and start um, doing whatever guys with instruments do. Um, <laughs> and uh, and then as a band, uh, we we all just get together, have a bit of a chat and a pray. Yep. Um, all of us being uh, followers of Jesus, uh, we, we just like to, and I mean, our heart is really to bless uh, and encourage whether we're on stage um, or even before or after the show. So that's definitely our heart. So we just yeah. commit that to prayer and, um, and then go for it, man. Yeah. Um, and just have fun and hopefully people uh, have fun as well yeah. and enjoy something of what they hear. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> so 
So, what are your thoughts on the metal scene in Auckland and New Zealand? And do you find it's a community or a bit of a competition? Uh, one thing I like about being in a small country like New Zealand is the fact that you get to know people quite quickly yeah. within the scene. And so that's a bit, it's a bit of a small world. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's, that's quite cool. Um, uh, at the same time, I think uh, it's not what it used to be. Uh, it seems like a lot of people just aren't coming out to shows anymore. Okay. Uh, uh, and so that's, that's a bit tough. Um, bands I know that maybe four years ago would pull massive crowds I mean, playing the same shows. Um, they may, it, it, it's up into, it's up, it's really up in the air yeah. as to what response you'll get. Um, and, but you know, it's, it's still fun to play. Yeah, yeah. And um, the metal and the hardcore scene, they, they both have their strengths and their weaknesses, I guess. Um, and uh, yeah, the other part of that question was the competition. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a that's a really good that's a really good question. Um, I've actually written a song about that pertains to this, and it will be coming out on the album. Yeah, and it um, it has a double meaning, and um, one part of that meaning is to do with the music scene. And um, that I see not only in New Zealand, but obviously around the world. Um, you look at a music video on YouTube of a particular band, and you only need to scroll down to see like the absolute nonsense that people yeah. vomit in the comments. And it's, it's actually really, an, um, ang uh, it's a really annoying to see mm. that like, oh, this band's better than that, but this vocalist sucks that, you know, like, and like this, this, all this, oh, you listen to hardcore, you suck, you should listen to metal, or oh, yeah, hardcore's where it's at, like metalcore is so lame, and da da da, all this is, and it's just like this constant bickering. And like heavy music is underground as it is, you know, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, it really shouldn't matter what we play, uh, whether it's, and I mean, I love it all hardcore, punk, metal, you know, or hard rock. Yeah, it's all great, and I mean, we should be supporting each other, not like ripping each other to shreds. Yeah. You know, it's it's not like in it's not like in some areas this is really thriving as a scene anyway. Yeah. So you know, it's and so I wrote this song that really like you know talks about how we're actually in this together. You know, we 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 should be like uh, seeing it as that. Yeah. And accepting you um, diversity within our sounds. Yeah. Um, and so I feel like um, there is a bit of that kind of backstabbing, mm. bickering elitism yeah. in attitudes um, in, in different styles of music. And I, I guess it's completely, it's, it's to be expected. People have their yeah. preferences. Um, and being in a band like, um, yeah, I mean, if ego gets in the way, I really think that, you know, it can become a competition. I don't think it should. Yeah. Um, but uh, it's good to be challenged by by your peers and what in, in the scene and what they're bringing out. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, you know, it's it's really good to enjoy what they are doing. Yeah. And encourage them in their craft. And you know, as artists, as musicians, you know, we we you know we should just be doing what we love. Yeah. Not trying to do something in a way to better someone else, yeah. you know? Um, so yeah, there is the competition. Yeah. Um, but I think, I think it's something that we, if we shift our perspective, it, then it's should, a good thing, it yeah. should be, it, it can be a good thing, yeah. but also, you know, we should also shift our focuses to something else instead of, Oh, I've got to make sure I'm you no, know, just, <laughs> Focus on what we are doing and yeah. enjoy it. Get yeah. the last out of it. Yeah, yeah. Mm, so who is one musician you'd love to perform with, dead or alive? Can I say three? Go for it. Awesome. Awesome. Yes. So <laughs> it would be, probably for me personally, it would be, uh, Periphery, 
obviously. Yeah. Um, Meshuggah would be amazing. Um, or Demon Hunter. Mm -hmm. um, you know, all those bands have had like some great influence on me. Yeah. Uh, and also the music that I listen to and my perception of that kind of music. Yeah. Um, but also even in the, like, like as a person as well, I suppose. Um, in terms of lyrical content, especially with the likes of Demon Hunter, their lyrics are so rich and deep, it's just awesome, um, and really inspired me as a lyricist. Okay. Uh, he's quite a bit of a wordsmith, so that was quite inspiring. Yeah. So to be able to do shows with it, I, any of those guys would be pretty sweet. Yeah. Yeah, man. It'd be awesome. That's sweet. Good choices. Ah, thanks, man. Um, and <laughs> finally. Uh, what's something that you think defines an NZ bloke? All right. <laughs> well, I mean, from the outset, um, gumboots, stubbies. Yeah, it's a pity about the stubbies, but <laughs> we won't go any further with that. Um, maybe a beer, you know, something like that, or Black's jersey or whatnot. Yeah. So that's the real st stereotypical bloke. Yeah. bloke. Um, but... I guess what, and also like really laid back. I think yeah. like you know New Zealand, like New Zealand as a as a culture is quite laid back, um, and I, I noticed that moving, even as a kid, moving over from South Africa, I moved over when I was ten. Yeah, that was eighteen years ago. Time flies, um, <laughs> and noticed that. Um, but I think you know like a, a, as 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 guys, I think we we. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of hurt, there's a lot of brokenness in our nation. Um, a lot of kids who grow up in some pretty unfortunate circumstances, and so I think what I think as guys, what we can aspire to is to be like. I think what it means to be a man is to be, you know, compassionate and strong, to know where you stand, um, and to to be able to reach out and like bless others you know and sometimes that means um you know self-sacrifice yeah. and stuff like that and i think i think we should see it would be cool to see more of that in my own life yeah and also in this culture as a whole you know guys actually standing up for their families um not just gapping it yeah <laughs> you know, like yeah and it's challenging stuff man it's it's hard times to live in but I'd like to see that being a definition of a New Zealand bloke, you right. know, someone who knows who he is and where he stands. And I think a lot of the staunch, yeah, mate, yeah, that's all right, mate. Um, some of that can actually, I guess, come out of a bit of insecurity, you know, like having to feel like we have to be this staunch and actually yeah. inside we're freaking out and stuff. Um, man, getting all like deep and stuff. But, <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, just nice. someone who knows who they are, cares for their family, and is wants to make a difference, I suppose. Yeah. Good answer. Cool, man. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's well, been good. Thanks for coming on. Yeah, it's been awesome, man. Yeah, man. Good questions. Great and great, great hanging out. Cheers. <laughs> um, and thanks to Ding Dong Lounge. Oh, yeah. And we will see you guys later. Fantastic!